Hello, good morning. How's it going? It's Amin here. And today I'm going to be vlogging another day in my life. And this vlog is particularly in lockdown. So I'm back home. You can probably tell by the background. I am home in Ontario and Ontario is in a lockdown. So I haven't been doing much, but today I thought I would just vlog uh, my day and see where it goes. Um, I just washed my hair, which is why it's looking like this. It's also that time of year that's between Christmas and New Year's Day, like that week in between, that's kind of weird. Um, some thesis deadlines that I've been working towards this whole break. I've been trying to read some books for fun. And today I am planning on seeing my boyfriend or my partner. Um, we haven't seen each other since August, so it's definitely been a long time. But you know what? Long distance sucks. And if I don't see him now, I won't see him again until May. So for Christmas, I bought my sister these like heatless curling rods. So now that I've washed my hair, I think I'm going to try them myself and then see what they look like. I also need to today film a reel for Instagram and... I thought I would just do this whole hair situation on the same day so I look kind of decent and then do thesis stuff and then go skating slash whatever we're doing outside. So let's get into this hair situation. My hair is like dry at this point, it's supposed to be damp, but we're just gonna pretend because I'm lazy. It's like I kind of got used to it, but it's also really still annoying to have to do work with these on. So I'm done taking it out. These are my blue light glasses, so don't need those. I'm a little nervous. I think it's gonna hurt. So I have to be a little gentle. Oh, oh, I already saw my sister use them, so I know they work. That's cute. In the end, I feel like my hair looks really volumized and usually my problem is that I have really thin hair but it did tangle my hair a bit but I was also surprised that when I took the things out like it didn't pull out any of my hair but yeah, it's a little too curly for my liking but I think it'll just decrease throughout the day so I'm excited I'm gonna show my mom Okay, so I'm back in our study room and I'm about to start my last transcription which is so exciting <sighs> honestly out of this whole thesis process my roommate my roommate who's also my thesis partner we were just talking about how the transcribing for me personally is the absolute worst i hate doing monotonous tasks i hate doing tedious tasks i just that is just not my thing and this whole transcription has been all of that and I'm on the last one. It's my longest interview too, but I remember this parent and I remember having a really good rapport with them. So I don't really mind listening back to it. It's just the whole pausing and then listening to it at like 70% speed and then listen to it again, like all of that. Anyways, I'm almost done. I'm really excited. So hopefully I can finish this in like two hours and then film my reel and then be done with this part before I move on to the next part. Y'all, you know, it is cold, the things you do for love. I'm just waiting for the car to warm up so I can start going. It's already really dark and it's only 5.30. And I hate winter, I hate being cold, I hate the dark. Um, I did not finish my last transcript, but I think I'll be home early enough that I can just do it because, you know, everything's closed, so I'm not going to want to be outside for that long. Um, 
but yeah i've been doing some reflecting on this year and my goals for next year so i'll probably share them later today um usually when i can't sleep like my brain goes really like overactive and i think i was thinking a lot about this last night like just reflecting on a lot of things and how this year was really really hard for a lot of people but also for myself i mean it really challenged me which can be depending on how you see it positive or negative but i'm gonna choose to see it in a positive way but like i said i'll tell you all about that later on i have to get going because i'm late like i always am and my boyfriend's gonna be mad at me i'm back home now looking great um it was very cold outside it was like minus 10 degrees celsius and i froze and then basically just got sushi and ate in the car and then i got krispy kreme so now i'm eating a donut drive through and it was nice but i wish that we weren't in lockdown i'm gonna try to finish that last transcript so i'm actually done and never have to do it again it's only 8 15. i should be able to finish it in the next hour i need to get out of these jeans <laughs> I can't wear jeans anymore. So I finished my last transcript. Woohoo! Um, it's 10 o'clock now, so it's almost time to go to sleep. I have my green tea ready. I'm just waiting for my laptop to charge so that I can watch Grace and Frankie before I go to sleep. So I thought I would talk about my reflections of 2020. I feel like this year really pushed me. It pushed a lot of people, but it pushed me like in my relationships. Um, it i've always been in a long distance relationship since like i don't like five out of seven years or whatever the majority of my relationship has been long distance and even though i was home for most of this year i wasn't able to see my partner so that was really hard um and it was it was just hard to like get out of your house like even today um it's just scary to see people that you don't live with um and then even the prospect of visiting at home during the breaks or him to visit me i don't think that's going to be happening for the rest of my um program at least like i don't have a spring break anymore so i won't be able to come home until i graduate which is a lot um it was also in many other ways very stressful of a year um i always am very cognizant of how stress can be detrimental to your health in the long term like just being stressed is bad for your health and physiologically and psychologically it's bad for your health so i feel like i have really been noticing i became more anxious this year and um due to a lot of reasons obviously with the pandemic um and all of the racism that came to light in the in the continent like in all of north america and also in my profession that i became very aware of in the last two months um all of that made me really anxious as a person um and i've never been like that before so it has been challenging for me to come to terms with that and also reach out for help and ask for resources um and i'm just being very honest here like a few weeks ago i signed up for this CBT program that the government of Ontario was offering for free and I signed up for it so I have a phone call with a therapist in a couple of weeks and the day I signed up for it I felt really shitty um and I was telling my partner about this I was like it's so hard when you're on the other side and you're the one helping people and then when you're the one asking for help it just feels like you just feel so low and i it just felt so hypocritical of me to even allow myself to feel that way because i know that if i was counseling someone who said that to me i would be like you're allowed to feel that way and it makes a lot of sense we're going through a lot this year and i would i just i just have not been able to give myself that same kindness um which has been hard so i feel like by taking this step i'm hoping i'll come up with some resources, some long-term strategies that I can use because pandemic or no pandemic, these are good skills that I should have in my back pocket in case things do get a little crazy and 
I mean, I'm only 23, so other stuff is gonna happen in my life and I should be able to have a positive way to manage those feelings. So I'm hoping I learn a lot about that from about myself and what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And of course, I'll continue to talk about it um, however that goes for me. And I guess part of the worry, now that I think about it, part of the worry that I have all the time this year is that I know that my time as a student is ending and I've never ever, well not never ever, I started school when I was like three, but for most of my life, for the very large majority of my life, I have been a student and I don't know what it's like to have, have an adult job and to be working full time. So I feel like there's some nervousness about that and like, I don't know, like having a salary and benefits and taxes and living on my own and all of these things. I, I won't have that cushion of being a student anymore. So that is definitely also very nerve wracking, but like I've said many times, this is a career that I'm very excited for. So I'm excited to start working and help people and have an adventure wherever I go next. Um, but it'll just be a bit of a change and some shifting and some adjusting. So although this year definitely sucked, um, I don't think 2021 is magically going to be very different than 2020, but I don't, I, I'm never the type of person that wants to regret anything. And I definitely don't regret my decisions of this year and the way that things happen. And I'm, like, I, I'm obviously not happy that the pandemic happened, but I do think that there are some takeaways that I have gathered from this year. And to anyone that's watching this that is just feeling really down about the way that things happened, I want you to encourage yourself to think about all the growth that you have experienced throughout this year and all of the things that you have conquered and every hurdle that you've jumped over. Um, think of yourself compare yourself from January to now and you're like probably a different person in a good way um, and that's what every year really is this year was just unique in its challenges so I'm excited for 2021 um, not that I really think a day is going to make a difference I don't think a year is going to make a difference it's, just, it's more like you have to make baby steps to work on yourself and then that was that is what will result in bigger changes um, but going on to next year i think kind of leading into that what i really want to work on not i don't want to say resolutions because it's like i'm not really i feel like resolutions are you trying to fix something or solve something but rather i want to say like goals that i'm actively working on starting now not even starting january 1st um is to slow down a little bit i am always living in the future always worried about the next thing like for me right now is job application season. So I am constantly worried about where am I going to live next? Um, will I be able to afford it? I have to pay my parents back, like all of these things. And I know that when I'm in that situation, I will be moving to wherever the heck I'm moving. I will look back and say that I missed being in grad school. So that's something I've been consistently working on for years. And my personality is just very planner type, very head in the clouds, daydreaming. So it's really hard for me to not have a plan and not have a future to daydream about. So that's what I wanna work on, living in the moment. And I also want to continue to build healthy habits. I, before the pandemic, I was working out like three days a week and I felt really good about it. In the summer, I was working out five to seven days a week and not even like intense workouts and not even like weighing myself like not for, any of those superficial things, but just for like, it made me physically feel a lot better, helps my sleep, helps my mental health, all of those things. And I feel like I just need to really establish a good routine. And it's really hard being at home, but hopefully I will be able to at least take baby steps towards that. Continue to make healthy food. I've been meal prepping for three years now, so I wanna to continue to do that. Um, I want to read leisurely. I went to the library, curbside picked up um, a couple of books from my public library. So I wanna finish reading those books and then continue to read into the next year. Yeah, so those are some of 
the things that I'm actively working towards. I'm really interested to know what you all are working towards for 2021 or starting now. I guess when this video goes up, it will officially be January. Um, but just your opinions on how this year went for you, what you've learned, what are some positive takeaways that you can reflect on now and what you're looking forward to in 2021. How do you think you've grown? Like anything I've talked about, I'm really interested to know everyone else's opinion. And I'm really hoping that, at, like, I'm telling myself by April, like, things will be a little bit better. I know that it would just be so naive of me to assume that we're going to stop wearing masks and we can start doing things inside again. And I know that's not going to happen, but I'm just hoping that summer will be okay. So on that note, <laughs> um, I am going to end the vlog here. I have been talking now for 10 minutes and my introverted self is getting really tired. Like my throat is already constricting because this, this is this, I can't, I can't be talking for this long. So I really hope that you enjoyed my lockdown vlog. I hope that you are all safe and healthy and I hope that you had a nice New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, even though it's probably different than what last year was and hopefully different than from what next year will be like. And if you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna stay informed on what I'm doing with my life, wanna watch the rest of my vlogs, of course, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.